Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Falcon 6X, Ace's first test flight. Also, Beechcraft King Air 260 earns FAA TC, and IAC announces National Aerobatics Day. Happy Friday, everybody. Survived the work week. We have a great show for you ahead of the weekend. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Check this out. Falcon 6X has a successful first test flight. Dassault Aviation's wide-body Falcon 6X has successfully completed its first flight, demonstrating the maturity of the program and opening the test campaign for certification. Today's flight is another milestone in Dassault's history, made all the more satisfying by the remarkable efforts of the entire Dassault organization and its partners over the challenging past year, said Dassault Aviation Chairman and CEO Eric Trepierre. With test pilots Bruno Ferry and Fabrice Vallette at its controls, aircraft 6X SN1 lifted off from Dassault Aviation Marignac plant near Bordeaux at 2.45 p.m. This approximately 2 hour and 30 minute maiden flight was executed per the test plan, with the pilots testing aircraft handling qualities, engine response, and the behavior of the key aircraft systems. The aircraft topped out at 40,000 feet and reached a speed of Mach 0.8 before returning to its base. Serial number 1's next flight will combine test activities with a hop to Estres near Marseille, where the Dassault Flight Test Center is located, and the bulk of the testing program will take place. Falcon 6X, SN2, and 3 are scheduled to take to the air in the next coming months. After the break, EAA's B-17 resumes touring after a long break. More news after these messages. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Mark your calendars. EAA B-17 resumes touring. EAA's B-17 Bomber Aluminum Overcast will return to a full national tour this year after being sidelined for nearly all of 2020 due to the pandemic. The first portion of EAA's 2021 tour schedule includes stops in Florida and Georgia before the aircraft heads northward to additional locations through the spring and early summer. The year-long tour will continue into the summer with the airplane back home for a full week of EAA's annual Air Venture fly-in on July 26 until August 1st in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Landar to assist in precision landings. Send Solutions' new product will reportedly improve landings and provide accurate above-the-ground callouts to assist throughout the final parts of the landing process. Landar information comes from a single, small, lightweight digital device using a laser. Landar is distance and ranging information to be used in the landing phase of flight. Landar can make callouts from up to 500 feet down to 5 feet above the ground. Volti B-13 joins the Lone Star Flight Museum permanent collection. One of the most widely used trainers during World War II, the BT-13 was much more complex 
than the primary trainers. It possessed a more powerful engine, was faster and heavier, had landing flaps and a two-position variable pitch propeller, and flying the BT-13 required two-way communication with ground personnel. Today, it is estimated that fewer than 40 BT-13s remain in flying condition. Donated to the museum by Mike Abajian, a retired Marine Lieutenant Colonel, the BT-13 was built for the Navy in San Diego near the end of World War II. SLS hot fire test on target for March 18th. NASA is targeting Thursday, March 18th for the second hot fire of the Space Launch System rocket's core stage at NASA's Stennis Space Center near Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. After performing tests to demonstrate that a recently repaired liquid oxygen pre-valve was working, the team has continued to prepare the core stage, its four RS-25 engines, and the B-2 test stand for the second hot fire at Stennis. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Beechcraft King Air 260 earns FAA TC. The King Air 260 offers an occupancy up to 9, a maximum range of 1,720 nautical miles, and a top cruise speed of 310 true airspeed. The upgraded cockpit features the innovative solutions and support ThrustSense auto throttle system, which automatically manages engine power from the takeoff roll through climb, cruise, descent, go round, and landing phases of flight. This enhancement reduces pilot workload and is designed to prevent overspeed or underspeed, over temp, and over torque conditions. The Thrust Sense Auto Throttle System has been awarded STC approval from the FAA. Another key update in the cockpit is the new digital pressurization controller, which automatically schedules cabin pressurization during both climb and descent, reducing pilot workload and increasing overall passenger comfort. The pressurization gauges have been integrated with the powerful Collins Aerospace Proline Fusion flight deck. The Collins Multiscan RTA4112 weather radar provides pilots with a fully automatic system that is optimized to detect short, mid, and long-range weather. Nearly 7,600 Beechcraft King Air Tuber props have been delivered to customers around the world since 1964. After these messages, this will definitely get your heart pumping. Inaugural National Aerobatics Day is just a few months away. Those details after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Prestels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. Want to add some excitement to your life? Aerobatic Flight will be celebrated on Saturday, June 26, during the inaugural National Aerobatics Day, as announced by Jim Burke, president of the International Aerobatics Club. National Aerobatics Day is the perfect date to host an aerobatic camp, a barbecue, a practice session, or to share videos of aerobatic activity online, Burke said. With over 40 chapters nationwide and two international chapters, IAC members will be organizing these type of activities and others to engage the public and general aviation pilots in aerobatics. IAC has established National Aerobatics Day as the fourth Saturday in June each year. 
it will highlight the dedicated pilots who fly these precision maneuvers as well as the ground support teams that make it possible. Originally developed as evasive maneuvers during World War I, aerobatics has proven discipline that it builds confidence and improves pilot proficiency. The loops, rolls, and hammerheads are examples of precision flying at its finest and most fun. These are a few of the things in life and nothing else in aviation that are as joyful and liberating as flying aerobatics, said John Cudahy, president of the International Council of Air Shows. And the idea of devoting one day each year to celebrating aerobatics is brilliant. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.